in this video, we are going to have a look at the equation of a plane and how it relates to the topic of vectors and also how these questions are most commonly asked in IB math exams. So these are the formulas that you will get in your formula booklet for your exam. And we have the top one being the vector equation of a plane and the bottom one is the Cartesian equation of a plane. And this one here, this middle one, uh, this helps us. It's a little bit confusing until you understand what uh, an equation of a plane looks like, but this one helps us actually use the bottom one. So I will do a diagram and a question, and hopefully this uh, will be a little bit more clear after you watch this video. So just firstly, the vector equation of a plane, it's very similar to the vector equation of a line. The vector equation of a line formula was R equals A plus PB and R standard for uh, some position vector or any position vector on our line. A was a known fixed position vector on our line. T was our parameter and B was our direction vector. And it's, it's quite kind of similar to the vector equation of a plane where R is going to be uh, any position vector on our plane now, not just our line, but our plane. A is still a fixed known position. Uh, which will be on our plane. Uh, this, these two uh, parameters here, uh, lambda and mu, uh, these will be uh, now attached to B and C. And B and C are going to be kind of like two direction vectors. We need two to, to work out the equation of a plane. And what these two direction vectors need to be, there'll be two vectors that are not parallel. So these are non-parallel vectors, but are parallel to our plane. So they can't be parallel to each other, but they need to be parallel to our plane. Okay, now, uh, those, these types of questions aren't asked too much. The vector equation of a plane, uh, the most common, commonly asked question is the Cartesian equation of a plane. So we need to work out how to do that. Now, I'm going to do a question via a diagram. So let's try and, try and track along with this question. So if I have a plane here, this is going to be my plane, and I'm going to choose a point here uh, where... I'm going to have a normal vector. So a normal vector will come straight up out of the, out of the plane where this will be perpendicular to both uh, the X and Y axes. So this would come straight out of the plane. And let's just say we have a known point here, point A. And let's give that point three, two, five. And I'm just going to put a random uh, dot here for R. And this is going to be some coordinate uh, on our plane, any coordinate, x, y, z. So it doesn't need to be here, it could be here, it could be anywhere on our plane. Now this, this vector that's coming up out of the plane, it will be perpendicular, so it's going to be our normal vector, and I'm going to give us the normal vector here of 1, negative 5, and 4. Now in order to find the Cartesian equation of a plane, we need two things. We need the normal vector to the plane, so we need something that's normal to our plane, and we need a known point. And if we have those two things, we can quite easily find the Cartesian equation of our plane. And I'll show you why. Okay, so if I wanted to draw a vector from A to R, so our known point to any other point on our plane, we know that point A to point R, so I'll go from point A to point R, this is going to be OR minus OA, which is our first understanding of what a vector is. To go from one point to one point, we take the end point minus the start point. And let's just say OR is the vector R and OA is the vector A. This is the position vector. So what uh, to go from A to R will be R minus A, the position vector of R minus the position vector of A. I'm, I'm hopefully we've done a bunch of these questions already. Now what we then know is that if this vector here, which is R minus A, if this vector lies on our plane and this vector that came straight up was perpendicular to our plane, with our knowledge of the dot product, the scalar product, we know that the scalar product of these two vectors should be equal to zero because they are perpendicular. So what we can say is that R minus A the scalar product of that and n should be equal to zero. 
And that's where this equation comes from. You may have seen this before, but not fully understood it. Uh, but uh, this is just saying that if we have a vector on our plane and a normal vector, we can make this uh, conclusion. And if we were to expand this using our vectors and expanding laws, this would be r dot n minus a dot n is equal to zero. And then you can move this one on the other side. So it would be r dot n is equal to a dot n. And that's what this formula here means. It's the equation of a plane using a normal vector. So hopefully now you see where this formula came from. It's just going to uh, pretty much spell out that if we had a vector on our plane, which is perpendicular to our normal, we can make this conclusion. Okay, now using this, let's use this. Well, r dot n, r was just the position vector of some point r, x, y, z. If we multiply that by n, 1, negative 5, 4, so this left-hand side here, I'll move this up here, so r dot n is equal to a dot n. This will be x multiplied by 1, so x multiplied by 1, and then y multiplied by negative 5, so minus, uh, let's go just minus 5y, and then uh, plus 4z, this will equal, and I'll just put the 1x here as just x, uh, the dot product of the vectors a and n. Now a is just 3, 2, 5, the position vector of this point. So it'll be 3 times 1, it'll be 3 times 1, and then plus 2 times negative 5, 2 times negative 5, and then plus 5 times 4, plus 5 times 4. So therefore, x minus 5y plus 4z is equal to 3 uh, minus 10, which is negative 7, plus 20, uh, which is 13. And this here is the equation of, the Cartesian equation of our plane. So it's not as scary as you probably originally thought, um, but hopefully now you understand the relationship between these two. So in conclusion, what we need to find uh, the Cartesian equation of a plane is a normal vector and just some point. Because if we have some point, we can, uh, we can use this equation. And on the left-hand side, we just do the dot product uh, of, of some uh, or any point. So the x, y, z will multiply by our normal. And on the right-hand side, it will be our known position vector multiplied by our normal. And then we can just use algebra and find our Cartesian equation of a plane. So it's actually a very, very, very good topic once you understand what this plane looks like. Okay, so I encourage you to practice a few of these questions. You might not get given the normal equation. You might instead get given three different points on our, on our plane. And you might want to think about if I have three points, for example, A, B, and C, how can I find a normal vector? Well, we have done the vector product, and the vector product of two vectors does give us a normal vector. So that's why we do the, the vector product. So that's something for you to think about. Okay, good luck.